Okay, my Vina loves, before I get into my introduction, there are a few of you saying, and please don't post about Peter and what he posted and what happened. You know, there are a few people who don't have Instagram, they don't have social media, who wanted me to share my thought process on what they've been hearing. So that's why I'm doing this. You, you all know, I didn't include this into the Rachel and Brian video because I wasn't trying to make that about Peter, but I'm doing this for those who wanted me to do this. Also to you all know I'm always positive on here so my little rant about what's going on is I uh at the beginning it's almost four minutes long so you can skip it and go directly to what peter had to say but is for those who might come to my channel to see the videos and are like oh what happened to her where did her channel go i wanted you guys to know what was going on if this wasn't um something that was necessary for me to say then i probably wouldn't have brought it up because i'm not one of those people that complain or things like that i always you know stay positive like i said with the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation but I didn't I you know I'm not gonna confess anything negative I don't think it's gonna happen but I did not want you guys to come to my channel and it was gone and you had no clue how to reach out to me and you know what's going on and so just go ahead and listen to what I have to say and uh, we'll get to the story you can skip through it you know but all right thank you all for the support and God bless What's up, my Vina loves? It's Miss Vina D coming to you all from Vina Team and News. So, before we get into this episode, this bonus episode, listen, man. So, I was all hyped up yesterday. I'm like, yes, I, you know, I, <laughs> we had season finale, you know, we do it good and all of that. I'm going to go ahead and do this bonus episode of, uh, you know, what Peter had to say his book he wrote on Instagram, tagging our girl Rachel and all of that, because I did not want to say his name. Or uh, add him in the episode about you know their love and the uh, end of season one so I was like I'm gonna do a bonus episode about him and then I come on here to you know upload it and everything and then I see copyright strike number two so I'm like what is going on you know I don't do anything inappropriate i have not stolen anybody work or material you know i i'm not defaming anybody what's going on so you know basically rihanna the guy that she's dating he's very private the billionaire right so he have all of these law firms in the uk that you know it's their job to be taking videos and things like that down i did a simple video of just images of Rihanna just simply saying, hey, our girl Rihanna, you know, was in London with her love. They went out to eat. I'm wishing Rihanna the best. My video is taken down, talking about um, due to privacy or whatever stuff. So I, the first time it happened, you know, it was for my video, one of my highest rated video on a channel of almost a hundred, you know, thousand views. I'm a new channel. So my videos, I have one that's hit over a hundred thousand, but a video hitting almost a hundred thousand with only 2000, you know, followers and things that's major for me. So that first video was sticking down. I was like, wait, I didn't, you know, have anything in there. I didn't defame anyone character but you know whatever i'm gonna let it go then a second video and i was going to post about you know her beauty lunch and all of that stuff i had to put that on hold i'm like i'm not about to get my channel shut down because someone just want to be petty i enter rihanna and her, and her man name in youtube I see hundreds of videos with pictures and even people being disrespectful to their relationship. All of those videos are still up. All of those people still have, you know, uh, uh, um, they, they have hundreds of thousands of followers. I'm a small channel with only 2K followers. And I'm like, why is my channel being attacked? So the um, blog Instagram page is at Vina Team and News. If you don't have Instagram, then you would type in www.instagram.com forward slash Vina Team and News. Or you can visit my website, www.missvinad.com. That's in and click on Vina Team and News and you will get all of the daily updates. I'm only saying this because now I'm waiting. I counter, right? I counter and I'm waiting for you to, to review it and respond because now they're telling me that because those two videos on Rihanna was taken down, 
Oh, if you get one more strike, your, your channel gonna be disabled. So if you know my Bratcho fans come here and it's like, what happened to her? Where where she go? Just go to the website and I will explain it all. But this is what's, what I'm dealing with. All because I posted two short, quick video. Hey, I'm so happy for Rihanna. She's in love. Like, come on. <laughs> If you are so private and you don't want to be seen, don't date Rihanna or don't come outside because they're going to take your pictures and people are going to talk about it. Like, anyways, let's get into the video, guys. But that situation, there's, you know, I'm very positive and I always say, you know, at the end of every video, you know, I always say my quote at the end of every video about being positive at all times. But when that happens, seeing that I do three uploads a day seven days a week and how much i'm grinding to build my channel i was just like you know what the devil is busy right now but you know i'm not going to record an episode because then well i was i'm not going to upload an episode because the episode wasn't you know how i'm always upbeat and i have fun with it it wasn't that it was a drag honestly so <laughs> so but you know i'm i'm back i'm back i'm hyped i'm all good so let's go ahead and get into it i'm sorry you had to listen to four minutes of that mess but i want you guys to know if you show up here and the channel is not here that's what i'm going through with youtube all because i posted about my girl rihanna and her boo anyways let's go ahead and move on so man peter 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 yes peter um peter you know said on the show that rachel was going to have a mediocre life even though he apologized for saying that i get it you know sometimes we get in our feelings things happen but you know he won't just leave her alone to live this mediocre life that he claimed she was about to live anyways so he goes to Instagram yesterday and he posts this long message tagging Rachel. Before I start to read the long message that he posts, that he posted, a lot of people came for Rachel fans yesterday saying things like you guys need to apologize because most of you were saying um Peter Peter only went on the show to be the bachelor and that's why he was there. But that man, you guys need to defend uh, oh, we are defending his honor because it's obvious he turned it down. No, he didn't turn it down. What allegedly, since my videos be are being taken down, allegedly, let's say allegedly, okay? <laughs> allegedly, Peter told them, I will do the show if you guys add in there that a ring will not be promised at the end and the show was like that's the whole premise of the show the happily ever after yes we get it realistically it doesn't work because people get off the show and the relationship is done in like two seconds but and we, we can't force someone to give someone a ring but that's the whole purpose of coming on the show we want someone who's looking for a wife and who's marriage ready so if you're not marriage ready and you're not open this is not the show or the platform for you so after that they you know changed their mind on peter and they moved on the show is aware that he have a huge fan base the show is aware that they would have had an amazing ratings but it's like why bring someone on the show to carry women through all of that emotional roller coaster and that you know toxic situation just at the end for the man to be like yeah i'm not interested right so they pass on peter now for all of the people who are saying um oh he turned him down and a show just let me read this and then you will see where i'm coming from okay just the first line uh peter wrote throwback thursday to the most incredible journey of this life time that has now officially come to an end today okay let me stop there an end for me our end was the final episode after the final rose when rachel confronted him that was the end why is it coming to an end today if being a bachelor wasn't in the works if being a bachelor wasn't something he was looking forward to why is he saying coming to an end today the same day the bachelor was the new bachelor was announced so for those of you saying oh no he didn't have any intention in doing that there it is right there it came to an end today because his fans had expectation and he was working with them but then realized you know what i'm not cut out for this 
they're not going to add what I need in there. So, hey, whatever. But I absolutely do think after I read this, you will see his new font clarity and just how, you know, this guy Aries back after seasons and seasons ago, ABC are fully aware of, you know, like I said, a huge following that Peter have. I'm not going to take that away from him. And they might bring him back on the next one after this guy because, you know, that's a whole year of healing, a whole year of clarity and all of that. And maybe his mindset in life will be different. But let's go ahead and continue reading what he wrote. Um, as I sit here writing this, I struggle to hold back the tears as I am overcome with emotions one last time. First and foremost, at the Rachel Lindsay, that's the Instagram um, tag. There are so very many things that I've wish I could say to you since the day we parted ways in Spain, but for everyone's sake, yeah, you mean her fiance, this boy, bye bye. <laughs> I'll keep it short. You give me a chance and all that I can say is thank you. I have a heart filled with love for you. For, I have a heart filled with love for you now and always, and wish you nothing but the best in your life. And love ahead. Yeah, she's living her best life, not a mediocre life. So, anyways, let's go ahead and keep continuing. ABC, you saw something in me, but something held me back. You treated me with such love and kindness and showed me glimpses of a life I never once dreamed that I could have. I will be forever humble and grateful and will always look back at these last six months with an ear-to-ear -ear smile, knowing that this has truly been a very special life indeed. Upon leaving the at Bachelorette APC, I was asked, what did you learn about yourself during this process? And at the time, I naively said nothing that I can't think of. Now, looking back, I realized I learned one of the single greatest teachings of my life. When you let uncertainty or fear guide your decisions, you risk missing out on what could potentially be the greatest opportunity of a lifetime. So live dangerously, live without the fear of the unknown and continue to live and love with a heart that is truly open to anything. Hashtag thank you, love always. Now, uh, my thing is a lot of people are angry. Like, dude, this emotional roller coaster. I, you know, people are on Rachel and Brian page like, we're so glad you picked Brian because why is he tagging you? Have disrespect for your this to Brian. Why, why wouldn't he just, you know, let her go, leave her alone. She's in love. She's happy. She's living her best life. You say our life is going to be mediocre. Just let her go and leave her alone. Well, you know, hopefully this is, you know, his final post about her and hopefully Rachel, you know, just continuing to be happy and live and don't even acknowledge it, respond or, or anything like that. But, you know, I'm going to go ahead and read a few um, of the comments that I saw. I'm not going to include them. Uh, I'm going to try to include them as I read them. But if I don't, you know, I'm just going to read them directly off Instagram without going through the whole editing of having to post them and all of that. This comment right here had me laughing so hard. This person wrote, Rachel left, <laughs> Rachel left, uh, I'm going to say his name, Peter Baggage and Insecurities with her eyelashes in Spain to put on a new fresh of eyelashes for Brian the following day. That was closure for her. She is an engaged woman and that man must stop dragging her as and when he feels like he needs sympathy. If he ever had any love for Rachel, he needs to respect Brian and their relationship. Said I won't comment, but hey, that part about she left is <laughs> baggage and insecurity with her eyelashes in Spain. Wow, these comments are hilarious. Oh, are crazy. These people are crazy. We are still actively rooting for you and Peter. My friends and I will love a reality show with you all. You never know. Another crazy comment. Uh, the balls in your court, Rachel. I hope you will take this opportunity to say something nice about P via a post 
or comment on his post and close that chapter with grace. I know you already have your closure and have moved on and are happy with Brian, but fans of both you and Peter deserve closure too. And that would be the perfect way to do it. What the heck? Are you kidding me? And this is not a kid. This is a grown woman as the picture shows. This woman is engaged and you really think that is respectful? Even if she wasn't engaged to address a man that is her ex? Girl, bye. Bye. <laughs> These people are nuts. What the hell? This woman is engaged and they are on her page all because of that post that Peter made. He claimed that she should go on and live a mediocre life. He, he have to leave her alone to live a mediocre life because from what we see, it's far from mediocre. So, um, I also love this comment. Um, I love Brian even more today. Dean turned out to be an Dean turned out to be the immature boy Richard knew he was. And Peter is crying on his page about regrets and letting fear keep you from the greatest opportunity of a lifetime. Brian knew Rachel's work immediately and was not letting a quality woman like her get away. Thank you, Brian, for treating her like a queen always. Um, Bonnie Love underscore 17. That was an incredible comment. He knew exactly what he wanted. He knew her worth. He said that he was looking for a wife. He knew she was a wife material and he did not back down. He had no hesitation. And hey, he's with her. So, yep. It's the situation I was talking about with Dean when he let on um, Christina go, uh, Rachel tweeted, Neville, never, I said Neville, sorry, never settled at, you know, Christina and her last name. Love you, girl. And so people are like, oh, why is she tweeting that? Why is she taking the dig at, at um, Dean? Uh, I don't think everything needs to be taken out of context. She's basically encouraging a girl that, you know, she, she's cool with. And that's just that. So um, she's just saying never settled because, hey, she was just there. We just talked about Peter, right? And she was just in that situation. She wanted to be a wife and all of that. Brian saw her work and, and he took advantage of that. And now, you know, they're good. And if she had chosen Peter, she would have been settling for, for less. And this whole experience have opened her eyes to, you know, and I'm sure she's very proud of herself that for the first time in her life, she chose herself for the first time in her life. She saw her work. And for many years, even though, professionally she's good she's an attorney and all of that sometimes when it comes to love people fall short and in that department she was not seeing her work and in this case she finally saw her work and went for a guy that from the day he walked through those doors was all about her said he wanted her to be his wife and he stuck to that and why go and choose somebody who's not even sure about you and based on that experience and her having the journey that she currently have with Brian, that's the reason why she was encouraging, you know, the, the, the young woman. And for some, for some of you who might say, well, you're defending what she wrote, but then want to come for Peter. I didn't come for Peter at all. I was very pleasant in my review. I simply said, you know what, stop tagging her. But I, but hopefully this last tag you did, you know, it's going to bring the closure to him that he needs. But here, yeah, man, I'm going to go ahead and um, <laughs> stop talking about Dean you know, and all of that stuff. But what I have to say is, you know what? This is it right here. Now you guys understand, like I said in the final episode to the season, that Rachel knew what she was going, going through. And that's why she didn't pick him. The ups and downs, the uncertainty, the, you know, one moment were cool, were good. I got you in the next moment. I'm not sure. And even when she went home... His mom, remember that episode when his mom said to her, um, does Peter want a kid? Yes. Does he want like someone that's going to be there and start a family with and all of that, a relationship? Absolutely. Does he want to like accompany that with a ring? I'm not sure right now. So basically, listen, there's nothing wrong with being in relationships without being married, having a kid without being married. There's nothing wrong with that do you i don't judge people but that's not what rachel wanted for her life and that's why she waited this long to be the age that she is and she she wants the husband she wants to ring she wants to marriage then she wants to start having kids because of the example 
that, you know, she have seen her entire life and her parents still being together and you know her, her sister being married and all of that now I, I understand this episode might not have been like the other ones and all of that but i hope the information i provided in the beginning share a little insight to why it's not as you know up there as the other episodes it's like but i promised i was going to do a bonus and read you know for the people who don't have social media and read what peter had to say and all of that so this is my take on there you guys go ahead and have at it in the comments and all of that and i promised for uh, season two episode one is going to be back up there this was just something bonus and that whole copyright situation and you know rihanna and boo people and all that stuff it just got me into a place where I was just like, nah, man, yeah, I don't want my channel to get shut down all because I was like, oh, Rihanna look good. Like, anyways, I'm going to start talking about it and hopefully YouTube can do what's right and now because I would hate to lose my channel based on someone being petty. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video here by Vina Loves. I'm wishing you all an amazing day and remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.